Hello everyone. Welcome to Road to PID Innovators with Mohammed Imran. In this episode, we are going to take a closer look at Swedish University of Agricultural Sciences, which is also known as SLU. It is a prestigious university that is renowned for its research and education in the field of life sciences, agriculture, and environmental sciences. It has four faculties that offer a wide range of degree programs, including bachelor's, master's, and PhD program. The university is home to world-class research facilities, including laboratories, greenhouses and animal facilities let's start the video this is the main page of this university and uh, you can click on this program and courses they only offer one uh, bachelor's program that is forest and landscape which is open at the moment they off offer several master's programs including agricultural economics and management, agricultural food and environmental policy analysis, agroecology, animal sciences, conservation and management of fish and wildlife, environment euro, environmental communication and management, environmental economics and management, Euro Forester, Food and Landscape, Forest Ecology and Sustainable Management. This is its local program, Horticultural Sciences, Landscape Architecture, Landscape Architecture for Sustainable Urbanization, Outdoor Environment for Health and Wellbeing, Plant Biology, for sustainable production, rural development and natural resource management, soil, water and environment, sustainable development, sustainable food system. These are the master program which this university offer. They also offer scholarship for bachelor's and master program, but uh, these scholarships are very competitive. This is the procedure to apply, who can apply for this scholarship. These are the condition. These scholarship are offered through the Erasmus Mundus program, European Master in Animal Breeding and Genetics, Environment Euro Outdoor Environment for Health and Wellbeing, and how this is the application process. And uh, They, they also offer self-support uh, students as well and you have to pay the application fees which is around 900 SEK and uh, you have to pay the tuition fees as well. So you can check out the cost of living, the course selection, refunding tuition fees, etc. Now we are going to move towards our main topic that is job vacancies at these universities. They offer PID positions. Let's click on the PID. PID position in radar, remote sensing of forest, PID student in environmental economics. This is again environmental assessment. This is PID position in remote sensing of forest disturbance, PID position in forest management, and this is PID position in forest regeneration and uh, below ground competition between trees and ceiling. Another PID position in genomic and bioinformatics, the PID position in understanding multiple stressors in northern stream ecosystem, 
and the PhD position at Forestry, Genetics, and Plant Physiology. These are the deadline to apply on these positions. One thing I want to tell you that uh, they often announce uh, PID position. So you can sus subscribe to this page to, ch uh, to find out the notification or latest position they announce. They also offer postdoc positions. This is the postdoc position in soil crop modeling. These, is, these are the two postdoc uh, position in quantitative genetics. This is another postdoc position in forest metatranscript cryptomics. This is the postdoc position in study of bioconservation of uh, lignocellulose. Another postdoc position is here. And these are the two postdoc positions in molecular biology, plant stress, signaling, and sustain susceptibility genes. And they also offer associate professor and professor jobs as well. To apply on this position is very easy. For example, I want to apply on this position, the PID position in environmental economics. Here, the PID position in environmental economics. And uh, you can check out this is offered by the Department of Economics at SLU. This is the description of this project. I always emphasize on read between the lines of the project description and uh, try to extract six to seven keywords and uh, use these keywords to develop your cover letter and your CV. These are the eligibility criteria, the qualification which is required for this project, the place of work is Uppsala and uh, the application process is very simple. Just simply click on the apply button. There is no need of uh, IELTS and uh, other language test. You just need to upload the English proficiency certificate. And I will log in. Here you can check out, you have to provide your email first name, surname, phone, address, postal code, city, country, and uh, you can also reuse your information. This is answer to the following question, university degree or other eligibility, the latest uh, degree, you have to provide the latest degree, latest degree university, independent Purdue thesis, the title and the number of credit hours, and the possible current affiliation with the other institute, if you have, the country and you have to upload here the CV and uh, your proof of English language. Here you need to upload your English proficiency certificate. You also need to answer a few questions. My reason for why I would like to be admitted to doctoral education. This is very